Show. We're going to take another break, and when we come back, we're going to switch gears and talk about the 2014 India Fest USA and the organization's efforts to reach out to others. Diversity is the word that comes to mind. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Welcome back. I am Harry Boomer, and with me this morning during this segment of WUAB 43 Forum is Barack Kumar, Executive Director, or rather Executive Producer of the 5th Annual India Festival, USA 2014. Dr. Deb Roy, Co-Founder and Technical Director of India Fest uh, USA, is also here. Now, one of the topics we want to talk about on WUAB 43 Forum is diversity. I always mention that, but it's oftentimes a catch-all word, but in this case, it is a real deal. My guests will explain what that means to them and talk about their organization and what it is doing to be more inclusive. Gentlemen, thank you so very much for being here. Thanks for coming back. And thank you, Harry, for inviting us uh, this year as well. You know, uh, We had a wonderful time last time uh, we are chatting with you, and uh, we have a lot more exciting news to share this year as well. Very good, and thank you again for being here. Well, thank it's glad right. to be back on your show, Harry. Uh, thank you. Let's go ahead and break right into this and tell us the mission of uh, India Fest USA, and then we'll play a video. So we'll come back and talk about that and we'll talk about any event that's coming up. Absolutely, Harry. So uh, our mission has always been since we started in 2010 is bridging culture, generation and communities. Uh, I think you have witnessed the tagline mm -hmm. uh, when you came uh, for the festival a couple years ago and our mission has not changed. Uh, we want to do more of bridging culture, generation and community in this year's uh, event as well. So that is our model and a goal as we move forward and uh, make a bigger plans uh, for future as well. All right. Now tell us a little bit about what's going to be going on this year. Uh, so so this year, one of the, the differentiators of this festival with regard to other ethnic festivals is the fact that uh, we try to pick up themes. So uh, with the festivities that happen, we find that it's a large audience, and if we pick up among the, the, uh, the things that are meaningful to us, if we pick a theme, it allows us to elaborate and deep dive into it. So since the beginning, we've had uh, various themes like celebrating health and wellness, uh, education, uh, children, and our future. And so this year's uh, theme is celebrating diversity because diversity is a very um, very important word both in India because uh, unity and diversity uh, is uh, is a central theme of India in both in its history and the composition of the nation certainly uh, this country is the same way and as a result, uh, in celebrating diversity, we are trying to uh, celebrate the diversity that is amongst us in the community, uh, in the uh, the exhibition area, in the festival. So everything that's being designed in this year's festival is uh, with that theme in mind. Speaking of the festival, what do we look at a video? It's right about a minute and a half. We'll come back and talk more about this upcoming festival and who's going to be there and some of the things that are going to be taking place. All right? Absolutely. So why don't you go ahead and roll the video for us. We'll be right back after that. Enjoying. It's been in festival, so I just come over here to check it out. So I'm not from here, I'm from Paris. First time just to come and see our culture. I was actually born in South Africa. Oh, my first time visit in USA. I'm adapting from India. What did you like the best so far? Um, I think there were there were about six young girls dancing. Excellent performances. Fun. It's really fun to dance here. I like this puppet show. I wonder how it is performing for the Indian festival. I love it. A lot of people soaking up the culture. Girls are going to perform for the Indian festival. Girls are really excited to do something different and we're all looking forward. There cannot be a more appropriate theme for any of us than bringing cultures, bridging cultures, generations, and communities through one day of togetherness. Every single year for the last four years, you have continued to bring cultures together. On behalf of the City of Independence, we are proud to have you here again for the festival. <laughs> Very, very interesting, and you see there, I saw in that video, 
lots of diversity. You know, as I said before, the word diversity is almost like a, a catch-all word in many people's vocabulary. What do you mean when you say diversity? So, Harry, when you say diversity, diversity in a true sense is, you know, a city itself is diverse uh, in, in our own uh, communities. Uh, the world is all diverse, and the cultures are all diverse. So how do we bring all of them together to a, a one single platform? Uh, the culture represents music, the art, and many of the other aspects of the culture. So what we are trying to do is bring all of those aspects into a one common ground, common platform, and uh, let the community shine together. And that is uh, in, in a true nature of uh, a diversity that you know we call it. Hey, let's, let's go ahead, sir. Yeah, and, and what you would see in the, the snapshot that we provided, this montage of various performances on other aspects of the festival that we've tried to capture over the years, um, if, if you look back at it, what we tried to do was, uh, when we tried to reach out to other uh, community members, so we went and said that we just don't want to come and showcase your culture to us and your performances to us, but how do we work together? So we would give you a, maybe a musical track, which is an Indian track, and bring your choreography. On the other hand, we would go to our Indian choreographers and we would say, well, how about you adapting some of the Western songs into, into your incorporation? The last year we did, in partnership with the Cleveland Art Museum, we did a puppet show, and then the puppeteers were well, non-Indians, but the, the, the mythological story that they represented that was uh, an Indian, an age-old Indian story. This year, again, we are partnering with the, the American Indians. It's again a folk tale of an American Indian that is being represented through Indian dance. So uh, our concept of celebrating diversity is that uh, at one point of time, uh, this country was known as a melting pot, and the definition moved on to being a salad bowl, meaning that uh, all the constituents would retain their individual identity, but then when presented together, it's like a patchwork of quilt. Yeah, and I think this, what you're doing now is so important because it forces the participants to get under the cover of whatever is going on. It's not just, well, here I am doing my African dance with, to the drums. It is, I am doing an African dance to music from India. So I have to understand some of your culture in order to use what I know, what I do, and make it work. And, and vice versa. And I think that that's so key uh, in terms of helping people understand and appreciate each other's culture. Yes, we try to call it appreciation through involvement. Yes, I, that, I, I love that. Now this is going to be happening uh, fairly soon, so tell us when and where. So uh, this year's festival is going to be held on September 13th, Saturday, uh, in City of uh, uh, Independence, uh, at the Independence Middle School. Uh, 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 and the uh, auditorium and as well. you guys are about to outgrow that spot. We have uh, on, uh, grown that uh, place uh, very significantly. As a fact, we are so blessed to have the city of Independence as uh, our hosting city and uh, many support from this uh, particular city of Independence and other surrounding cities and the mayors as well. Mm -hmm. Who are some of the people that are going to be here? I noticed that you had Peggy Joan, Peggy Zone Fisher from the Diversity Center on. What is her role here and what is she going to be doing? All right, so as we try to mention that each year we try to partner with an organization in line with the theme um, uh, that we do, and we also try to honor uh, somebody who has done significant work in that theme. So this year our partner is the Diversity Center of Northeast Ohio, and uh, we are very fortunate uh, that um, Mrs. Fisher has agreed to be the, uh, the recipient of an award, so we are quite honored to have her, and that way people would get to know uh, they do a lot of wonderful work in the community. It's a, it's it's was set up in the 19, late 19. 20s, I believe. So it's a very old organization, and uh, so that's going to be their role in, in both in the exhibition area, educating and informing the, the visitors about uh, the importance of diversity and the work that they do. And I'm hoping that um, Ms. Fisher uh, and her staff in the evening, the, the gala award ceremony that happens, uh, would be also doing the same. It seems like the whole world is going kind of mad when you look around and see all the things that are happening. And I think it is because we don't understand or appreciate each other. And this event and others like it, I think, play a pivotal role in helping us understand that we're all sort of um, captured on this little blue ball hanging out in space together. I mean, I don't know of any spaceships right. taking anybody <laughs> off. So chances are we got to learn to live together or we'll perish together, as Dr. King said. Absolutely. And, and, and Harry, you know, many of us, you know, or the, this country is built upon uh, immigrants, you know, and a lot of immigrants came from a lot of different countries, you know, mostly every immigrant represents the uh, United States of America, uh, including, you know, South Asian or the Far East or the Europeans. Uh, so there is a 
definitely a significant diversity in each of those cultures and our goal is to bring them all of them uh, together you know uh, we all are immigrants uh, but we are second or third generation of immigrants now you know our parents came you know uh, to either study and settle down but now we have a new breeds of immigrants uh, who wants to be part of a bigger community so how do we make sure you know that our future generations are very much integral part of a community as well excellent excellent we're going to talk more we're going to take another break and come back let me just say this WUAB 43 Forum is committed to covering a wide range of important topics including employment the economy and education we also discuss family and youth issues plus we talk about crime and violence and ways to keep you safe in your community want to know more about health care well we talk about that of course we talk politics the subjects of housing leadership race relations and diversity as we're doing this morning if you know someone who can talk passionately about any of these topics drop me an email at hboomer at wuab.com your input and your voice are important so please let me hear from you stay with us we'll be right back to wrap things up with our very special guests we have just a couple of minutes to talk with our special guests, Barack Kumar and Dr. Deb Roy of the India Fest USA 2014 about the festival that is coming up and about their theme of, of diversity and, cro and crossing cultures and all of that. So, again, just want to give us a synopsis of what's going on and when and where and how. Right, so thank you, Harry, for uh, inviting us again. Uh, the festival is going to be held on September 13th, Saturday. Uh, in City of Independence uh, at the Independence Middle School. Uh, the hours will be uh, 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. and we will have the uh, taste of India, so a lot of uh, food, a uh, lot of uh, cultural activities. Uh, we also have a, a special segment uh, which is very popular called You Got Talent, where people compete and it's very much like uh, the America's Got Talent model. And in the evening, we're going to be honoring some of the heroes that we mentioned, especially you know, in the diversity segment. And uh, the special performances with, which bridges the culture, generation, and communities as well. So, so, so which song are you going to sing? Uh, I'm going to be <laughs> observing this year. <laughs> Dr. Roy, what about you? Hey, thank, you. Thank, you. thank you very much. I think uh, um, all the work that we do, um, it, it's, it's platforms like you that you provide and the work that you do, the community forums and all, that allows us to reach out to our audience. Um, so I would like to invite everyone who is uh, watching this program to come and join us in this one day of togetherness. Um, the weekend, uh, we, there's, uh, there's a lot of stuff as um, Bharat was mentioning about in this festival that's going to happen and you would be able to enjoy firsthand and in many cases you would be able to um, uh, participate yourself. We always call it appreciation through involvement. For example, if you have been watching Bollywood dances but uh, always felt that, you know, how do I get into it? We would be having a uh, one-on-one Bollywood dance lessons that would be going on in the exhibition area. The Taste of India uh, Food Festival is a great way to whet your appetites on those mouth-watering delicacies. Um, so it's a, it's a one day of fun and that's the only way uh, we can build uh, uh, bridges uh, between the cultures, generations, communities. So thank I you, Harry. Appreciate it. Thank you very much, both of you, for being here. Great. I'll, I'll see you there. I always have a good time when I go. Thank you. Well, as we wrap up this morning's show, thanks to our very special guest. Let me uh, also have, invite you to tune in dark and early weekday mornings, starting at 4 30 on CBS 19 for the CBS Morning Show with Catherine Bosley and I. Thanks to the guests. Thanks to the crew. Thank you, everybody, for being a part of this. We'll talk to you soon. Be well. Bye bye. Thank you.